interesting. This just proves further what I've been talking about. We have lost at least an entire school year, if not more. Back to rocking music. Oh. Suppose we can jump around now. It's like a flung. Avocado, are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Hmm. Yeah, I can't help but what about the Monokuma door. Yeah. So I figured if all the doors in school had been unlocked, that much door would open too, right? But Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? And that really sucked. So you open it. I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. Okay, so in case I look. Ah. Oh, wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. You know, react doors only if I desk and hit underneath them. Okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than expected. Oh, it's a Monokuma control room. I guess. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Oh, this place is totally sci-fi! Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. There's some kind of hatch on the floor. Right now, I'm more concerned about that big device. I mean, every part of the school leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but this place is like number one gross. It's in a whole different league of creep. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top, though, like some kind of military installation or something. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cock kind of right? You feel me? It'd probably freak out if you saw it. So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. It could have been. Okay. Alright, let's start poking on it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Oh, hold on. You can't just. Or oh, whatever, something like this. But it was too late. He was already jamming away the control. Huh? Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Nina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure about I think it was that one. The one that says data center. Data center. Then go look at the control panel. There's a bunch of buttons each with the name of the room next to it. Just like Nina said, there was one little data center. That must be the one she pushed. The data center? That's right next door. The room we were just in, that's where the strange noise came from. I'm probably gonna go check it out. Yeah, yeah please, I'm kinda of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer you on from over here. Yes, Monokuma, hold up. Which means the mastermind was probably in there while we were here. Did I just hear what I think of her? Is that Monokuma? Hey! Bro, give me all your don'ts! Is that you, Hina? Wah -wah? What? Oh man, boss, and how did you know? Say what? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera setup? You don't even know what you're controlling. Hello. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from me here. Found it. Ah, guess what I found? A self destruct button. No, dude, don't push it. Too bad. Oh man. Are you serious? gonna push it? Anyway, guess what settles it? The room with the Monokuma drawn on it and the control panel inside. Anyway. Ah, oh, there's a guy telling you. Oh, hey, because what the heck was that just now? Monokuma? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now? It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. What? For real? Yep, it looks like the panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from this group. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from this group. And this control room is totally separate from the data set area with all the monitors. No words. Hey. Yep. Kyoko's sure, was right. But, but if the master must be controlling Monokuma from here, then he's living inside the school this whole time, right? Yes, that would have to be true. If, but if that's true... Yes! <laughs> Lot of repetition right now, game! I haven't got infinity for this! Then the mastermind Monokuma's puppeteer really is the 16th student. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Um... What's wrong, Makuro? I don't like that face you're making. Oh, no, it's nothing. Uh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? Well, it's just, this is where the master has been hiding, right? Who knows if we set up traps or something? I can't say it is impossible, but I really hope it's um, not true. So, like, so, you wanna leave soon? Um, There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. Can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Yeah. Click. 
As soon as we door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh. No, the door, it's just locked in the zone. What? My hand should have to grab the door now. You're right, it's not. But why? Yeah. Of course it's not, because the data center is now restricted. Monokuma? Hey, no fair, you can just go around and stake whatever you feel like. Hey. It's for um. your benefit, because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. <laughs> ben had depressed, everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stop moving. You're pro- the Masterman was hiding down the hatch and waiting for us to leave so they could pop up, but they had to at least let us get a glance. I get you. Then the room. Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um, so right now you're being operated by someone in that room. Yes, indeed. Correct Mundu. But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there, we didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> are you sure you were as far as you could have been? <laughs> did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? <laughs> Too bad, that was your one big chance and you blew it. Was... Too bad! Of course, that hatch can't be open from the outside anyway, so whatever. I imagined as much. Hmm. Now that this room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. <laughs> Peace! Um, He's gone, but so, was he telling um, the truth? The master was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to what we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then when he said we should leave, well, the hatch couldn't be opened from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we're left. You're right. You know, that's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go run around till everyone we found here. Nice, you got me all motivated again. You got it! Okay, Mort, see you later. You and took off at full sprint. I have to do what I can too. That's the only way forward. This is the headmaster's room. I heard an awful lot about it, but this is my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. I'm a good at you. I'll be up here. Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? <laughs> what do you mean, something interesting? Hmm. Take a look at this. I was on top of the pathetically ostentious desk. Class 78, student registry. Hmm. It contains profiles for all of us. And Makoro. So in other Apparently words... class 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Makoro's profile in Kyo's room... I see. That's right, I also mentioned class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles listed there along with hers, there can be no doubt Makoro was a student here at Host Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Makoro Ikusawa, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. <laughs> but it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. They are even tearing the way that they had been crumpled. She must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wants to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? She wasn't so much of her that she only got the first page. The first page? <laughs> Correct, Makoro's profile actually contains two pages. What? So in, in other, other words, words, when it comes to this profile, there was more information about Makoro that we still didn't have. What kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. <laughs> I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Vecure as I skimmed through the report. Makuru reappeared suddenly, and in the background, an intended flows, close but just out of reach. Entity known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Makuru definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. I need to pay attention to Makuru's behavior too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she had hopes peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. The fact alone proves a tremendous skill of battle. Wait, she didn't have any wounds or scars when she appeared here. Peculiar. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to your students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. Makuru was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think I can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't the mean Makuru and the mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Makuru? Because even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Makuru was capable of. They would have had to take a completely by surprise to kill her like that. Maybe the mastermind is even stronger than Makuro was. What? What's wrong, Makuro? Huh? That's You fine. seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should know. What is it? <laughs> Did you notice the picture in there? The picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. <laughs> a girl who seems to be included as part of a class 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. <laughs> and further information about the girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and seem list her vitals. 31, 22, 32. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do you think? Ask me like if she has a nice body. Stop you talking. hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you think, oh, what could that be? But he's trying to say. There's a chance the body isn't actually Makoro. Is that what he's saying? 
Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear. That's all I was trying to say. What do what you do with that information is your business. So back to being Bakuya's errand boy. He tries. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice from you to you, so it's just pay attention. Advice from you. Hmm. You seem to be getting along with Kyo quite well. It's not that we're getting along. She's just done so a lot to help me. Hmm. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In other the words, the cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch. Hmm. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Well, Kyoko thinks it's one of us who is still alive, and my theory is that it's one of those guys that dead, so... Yeah. The bookshelf seems really well made, and it's filled with fancy thick books. Extra thick. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Someone makes me feel anxious. Even in the headmaster's room, there's a surveillance camera. Kind of 78, student registry. Apparently that's us. Yes, yeah, profiles of me and everyone I made at the beginning. I'm a cool. This time was from Kuro Pan, a new student here from the Kuro was part of the ultimate despair. Which means her head mastermind should have been allies. Then why would a mastermind kill her? Were they friends? I don't think these people are really friends so much as I get an allies. And hello! The trophy is even a shield in the display case. Interesting. Another sword. Even the headmaster will bless a monitor. Let's investigate everything. Oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? What do you want? Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, that's not at all. I just thought maybe you found a clue. <laughs> well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not of one single clue. I think this place was related to the case, it would have had to something, right? Wasn't there anything out of the ordinary here? Yeah. Give, back, give me back my precious to time! Calm down, Toby. Don't your tell problem? me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? No one finds out they're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Master will. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. Oh, what about I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Well, I don't think I have any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get over. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it here? I don't think there's any clues here, so maybe we're gonna get going. Ugh. Paradoxical as ever. Super Armored to the Blake, super Japanese. Cheerio is full bloom. Nothing strange about that, except it's constantly in full bloom. Well, I'm once just gonna peon. Why not just show the school crest? The tactic is pretty far away. And also a coin down there. There's a bunch of wooden loggers in here. We found a clue in here, but it was just muscle mice attempt to find Kyoko. It's not here. And what did they say? The Terrigan soap by the spring of the day, right? It doesn't break the camera. Well, it's probably waterproof. Maybe the body's inside the tool shed. Bet check just to be sure. I find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here, then it must be. No idea where, but cops aren't the only thing you need to check in here. There's one other thing, that tarp. A tarp played a key role in our case, so better look into it. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind there. Huh? I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. It says Biolab. Then this originally came from the Biolab. Which means it couldn't just have been used by just about anyone because it was fucking locked off. Anything new here. 
It's about piggers. On the heaven says crazy diamond. It's the same thing with the last car. Things mentioned it somehow. Strange. The other things aren't clues either, well. Uh, just checking. I've been a coin. Oh. That's all I really need to check here. But where could the body have gone? Let's have a look at the board. Okay, we save us all this to check here. I trust you on that, Makoto. 